Hello and welcome everyone to the bracket draw for the Ultimate Skill Cup. Today we will be determining who fights who in each round of competition. And we'll also go over the rules real quick for you so that you know what we're talking about. Joined by my co-commentator co for the tournament, Chiska. Hey guys, I'm back uh, with another tournament and some more commentary with Elite Cryptic in the Ultimate Skill Cup. Now, as the name implies, uh, you can guess we'll be seeing some ultimate skill in this tournament. Well, that's the hope. The name is ambitious. We shall see what happens, I suppose. Tournament wouldn't be a tournament without your amazing commentating voice. Uh, thank you, Cryptic. You keep on flattering me. Well, anyways, let's move on to the uh, rules. So the rules are simple. Uh, there's two rules. There, well, technically three, I guess. The rules are best of three games, one, uh, 1v1 games, and the matches will have a soft 30-minute time limit. Uh, this 30-minute time limit is just there so that games don't turn into two-hour-long stalemates. Uh, if we need to give people an extra five to ten minutes to finish a game, we will. We're not going to be Nazis about it, but we do want to have a time limit just so that games don't become uh, stale, basically. And then for each game, there's potentially three games in each round of competition because it's a best of three. So if one player wins one, one player wins one, we go on to the third. Um, for each game, the player has to pick a different faction. They don't have to send these factions to me beforehand. They can just pick on the fly, whatever they want. But we do have to have a different faction for each game. So those are going to be the rules. Right, as for the maps, we have four different maps. Uh a different map for each round. Now, uh, starting at the eight finals, we have the Forza Horizon 2, which is probably the most commonly played one versus one map in the Adain mod. Quarter, moving up to the quarterfinals, we have the Brandywine map, which is a little less played than Forza Horizon, but I think it's pretty popular as well, and it uh, offers some uh, interesting choke points and good strategy opportunities. Then the semi-finals will be played on Westfold, which in my opinion is a little bit of a, s a strange map. I always have difficulty on that map, but we'll just have to see how the other players tackle it. And then moving up to the finals, we have the Wyvet Heath, where the top two players will be facing off against each other. Probably this to be exciting, because that's the biggest map we have in this election, and there's a lot of outposts on it and, and some dragon creeps, so it should be really interesting to see what people do. <clears throat> um, in addition, one final rule, which I almost forgot. Make sure to download the tournament patch. It's right in the thread. I've got it on my Google Drive. Uh, all you got to do is download it and install it into your Rise of the Witch King Drive. It's super easy. I got the instructions laid out. So if you are a backup player or a main player who have not yet downloaded the tournament patch, please do so. Um, the fixes it provides are simple. It increases the cost of the exile camp so that it's not easily rushable anymore. It costs 800 with the tournament patch. Or it might be 750 It's 750 And then... Um, it changes to allow you to recruit Wildman Pikes from the Isengard Wildman Hunt so that you can't get completely destroyed by Cavalry early game anymore. And it also yeah, changes well. it also changes uh, Wolfgar's summon so that basically it just summons regular Wildman for a limited period of time and it gets better as he levels up. It starts off summoning two, I think, and then it goes to four. It gets better once he gets to level ten. It summons like six units for 30 seconds. <clears throat> so those are the changes applied by the tournament patch. Those are all the rules. We'll go ahead and move on to the random name drawing now. So, it's fairly simple. I just pick a random name here. It will display it down here. Then I take the name out of the list, and we pick another random name, and that's our matchup. You want to write these down as I go, Chiska? Uh, well, I'll just listen. Uh, okay. So, first well, well, I'll, I'll write them down if you don't want to. Okay, well, it, I was just thinking to keep track, right, of who fights who. Because if right, you write yeah, it down I'll that do way. That. All right, so the first... Okay, that's cool. I've, I've clicked it. The first player is Mr. Mad, who is known on Game Ranger as Madface. Madface, right. I'll just take the Game Ranger names then. Yeah. Well, no, it, that's, it's not actually typed Madface. It's literally like a drawing of a Madface. So just put down Mr. Oh, really? Mad. It's, it's like impossible to write it down. It's really it's a brilliant name. <laughs> All right, I've got it. Mr. Mad. Just go with the names I got here. So yeah, Mr. Right. Mad. Then we take him out of the list and pick another name. Mr. Mad will be fighting Sawman in the first round of competition. Sawman. Your personal apprentice. Yes, Sawman is a good friend of mine. He's pretty good. Mr. Mad is also pretty good. That promises to be a good matchup. Alright, so that's that's the first matchup down. Let's pick another. We have Draco 100,000. 100,000. <laughs> He's very good, as you saw in the LPS Cup. So we'll take him out of the list. And pick another name. X Jiren X, two dwarves facing off once against one another. 
X Jurin X. I don't really know much about Jurin. Uh, I saw Jurin. Yeah, first father of the dwarves. Um, yeah, I saw him play in one of Rude Devil's tournaments, but I don't really know too much about him, so I, I can't really say anything for sure about that matchup. Well, we'll just have to see how it goes then. Yep, here's hoping it'll be good. Let's do another. Mm. Orion and F. I do not know how to spell that, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> e R E I N O N, capital F at the end. E I N O N. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Right. Orion. All right, right, so where is he? i got to take him out of the list. Where is he? There he is. And then pick another. He is going to be facing off against Idriel 12. Idriel 12. Yes. I think uh, Idriel 12 versus Mogat was our first match we commentated in the LPS Cup, right? Yeah, Mogat destroyed her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty oh, sure she, she is. She I'm is. pretty for sure she is a girl. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that that was too bad because Mogat was just totally out of her league. I think we we shall see oh, what she, happens. Um, she does have a chance to redeem herself. Yes, some practice can make perfect. Anybody can get good at this game. <clears throat> so that that should be a good match. I know Orion is a popular German player. I'm pretty sure he is, anyways. All right, moving on to the next. Sean Power Two, one of Rude Devil's people. Sean Power Two. Yep. Singing play is pretty good. Yeah, he's played in uh, several of Ross's tournaments. Mm. Okay, and then we'll pick another. He'll be facing off against Isis Weevil, a totally unknown player. Isis, <laughs> what's that last part after Isis? Uh, I C E Z, not Isis. I C E Z. Oh, really? W I E B E L. Isis Weevil. It's a German name. Uh, okay, Isis. So yeah, he's a he's a total unknown. I have no idea how good he is. I've never seen him play, so that should be very interesting. You get a total unknown, Sean Power. Sucks to be you. Let's move on to the next. <laughs> Adriga Bro, our Frenchman friend. <clears throat> Adriga Bro versus oh, me. Oh, elite drifting. I shall be fighting Adriga Bro in the tournament in the in the eighth final. Canadian versus Frenchman. I've never actually played versus him before. <laughs> okay. Well, that should be quite interesting for you. Yeah, it should. So let's move on to the next. Good fella. Good what, fella. <clears throat> the second best person I know in the tournament, able capable of beating me on many occasions. Who's this? Let's see who's who he's fighting. Witch King. Witch King. <laughs> Another player from Rude Devil's group. Uh, Witch King, I suggest you practice and practice a lot. Good fella doesn't play around. Well, that's right. bad. So that's, that leaves us with four people. All right, two more rounds. Loop Blank. Loop Blank. <clears throat> I think that's a French name. But yeah, another unknown. My uh, unknown. I know nothing about that player. These wild cards have quite an advantage <laughs> in this turn. Yep. Nobody knows what the hell they're gonna do. <laughs> mm. Let's see who he's fighting. Oh, he's fighting Haman. Haman. Ha it's technically Haman Nath Nath, but everybody knows him as Haman. Yes, Haman. So yeah, Haman gets to fight an unknown. Have fun with that. And then the last two players... I, I don't need to do the random name for them. The last two remaining are Devil's Damon versus Tirano. Devil's Damon versus who? Tirano. T-I-R-A-N-O. Oh, right. Tirano, yes, I saw him. Yep. Right, I think he's got good. a. I think he's got a different game ranger name, but that's his. That's his uh, name on. Uh, we'll check after uh, everything after this. Yeah. Uh, recording, right? And by the way, Toronto, if you watch this, I still need your Skype info, bro. <clears throat> you got back to right, me so on. Just... You got back to me on Modding Union, so I know you're good to play. But I need your Skype info so I can add you to the bloody group. <clears throat> Should I just go over the matches, the matchup? Yeah, let's go over the matchups one more time at the end for everybody. All right, round one is Mr. Mad versus Sawman. Round two will be Draco 100,000 versus X Jiren X. Now, mind you, these are, it's not round one, round two. These are the rounds in the eighth finals. It, it, like the actual yeah, rounds, not matches. Yes. No, I just know that. Right, round three is Iranian F versus Idriel 12. Round four is Sean Power 2 versus the German guy. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm really sorry. Isis, right. Isis Vivo. Yes, yeah, like Isis Vivo. All right, anyways, uh, round five is Adriga Bro versus 
There's one and only Leech Cryptic. <laughs> you guys six. finally get to see me play in a tournament. <laughs> Will be Goodfella versus Witch King. Seven is Luke Blanc, the French, or a presumably French wildcard versus Harmon. And then eight will be Devil's Damon versus Toronto. Yes. Now these aren't going to be in that order. Those are just all the rounds of the eight finals. I'm going to be asking all of our players for what their preferred playing time would be um, on Friday, Friday, August 5th. The tournament is going to be taking place, and we are going to be streaming it for your viewing pleasure, or else I'm going to end up murdering, murdering Devil's Damon. But we are going to be streaming <laughs> it on August 5th to August 7th. We'll be streaming it on his channel, Devil's Damon. Uh, I, I'll have the, I'll have him linked in the description below. So go and follow his channel so you can all keep up to date on when he's cut, when we're streaming. And that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Anything to say, Chuska? Uh, nope. Only that I'm really looking forward to seeing some sick skill in this tournament. Yeah, as am I. <laughs> we'll get at least some. We've got me, Hamen, and, uh, and, uh, Goodfellow. I don't really know. A lot of the other players are wild cards. We shall see what happens. Right. But... Yeah, so basically, players fight in the 8th finals, the winner moves to the eight quarterfinals where they fight the winner below them. Standard tournament matchups. I'll, do, I'll probably do a little graphic and put it up on the screen. But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm really looking forward to the tournament. I shall see you all on August 5th, and uh, stay awesome.